All right, new content drop for JP. Uh, all translated by Grandcast Database. Um, thank you very much. Uh, I'll always leave the link for their website in the description. Um, yeah, so this is possibly one of the best content drops I've seen in a while. Uh, I mean, this is a celebration content drop still. It is a $20 million celebration, but still really good. Honestly, the $20 million celebration is, in my opinion, much better than the anniversary. The anniversary was good, but I think this celebration is much better. Um, starting off, of, I've already talked about these characters in a separate video when it was all translated first. Um, if you want to see my deeper thoughts, I guess, on the characters, uh, the link in the top right will take you to that video. I'll, I'll, I'll pass through what they do and read, but I won't really uh, go too deep into it because I already did in the other video, so if you want to check more of my um, my opinions on the new Lilia Mono, uh, go check it out. Yes, new Awakened Lilia Final, your evil Lilia, however you want to call her. Um, she's pretty good. Uh, Mono is a co is company company her in the banner. Not so much. Uh, you can get Mono with festival coins. I don't know why. Like only Mono. You can't you can't get Lilia, which I thought was really weird. But okay. Uh, in the banner, um, there are only original characters. I see, I've already seen this, uh, the, the base mistakenly put King in here, but they're only original characters. All the original characters in the banner, Camilla, Easton, Valencia, Shin, all of them are in the banner. Uh, all of them have the same raids. This looks a lot like a, fa like a festival exclusive banner. A lot. Like, it has the same format, 25% for each, um, you know, uh, it has tickets. The uh, the mileage is, is a 300 guarantees a star 600. You either either you choose Lilia or Mana, which I'd recommend choosing Lilia if you do 600. Uh, regardless, um, it's an interesting banner. Uh, if you have the new king, I think getting this Lilia could be very beneficial. If you don't, um, I don't know if she can really work on other teams, but regardless, um, yeah. So that's the banner. It, it, it's. It's good, 600 you get, you can get the Lilia. Uh, it's not like an original character banner, like the usual original character banners. It's a little bit different. I guess they um, they wanted this Lilia to be something special, right? Anyways, uh, moving on, uh, we're getting a new spin thing for... Um, it's a different one, it's a new one. So, enter the event, blah blah, press uh, treasure hunting, uh, use the pickaxe to spin, and this is how it looks like. So, you uh, you, get, you have the hawk in the, uh, the cart, and then you just spin and he goes I guess. It's pretty cool. I I, I want to see how it looks in game. Now we want pickaxe for roulette, max of 30 spins per day. Uh, you can get them everywhere of course. Um, secret de devices. Remember reward. Okay. Rewards. Rounds. Star pendant, diamonds. Ooh, okay. Super awakening coins. That's honestly mostly what I look for in these. Um, new tower, tower of trial or oh, tower of trial. Oh, the enemies for the tower of trial will be the original characters. It's pretty cool. I mean, here it doesn't seem like it, but the icon is the original characters. Thank you there. I didn't see that. So the original characters are the um, the bosses. I'm assuming that's pretty neat. I like the uh, tower of catastrophe. Oh, it, no, it's not called it's not called, it's not called tower of Tr challenge. It's called tower of catastrophe. Hmm. Okay, but yeah, uh, rewards. It should be like the usual, right? Super Awakening coin, hammers, anvils. SSR 5 equipment selection ticket? Yikes. They're not giving gems? In the previous ones, you got 45 gems. This one they're not giving gems. They 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 changed 45 gems for SSR Awaken. This is one gem. This, this is trash. Yikes! No, this is really bad. This is probably the one. Like I I had I had not really looked deep into the patch. This is really bad. This is a really bad change. They really nerfed Tower of Challenge, and. Tower of Challenge is the most difficult activity in the game. I, I'm like, I'm sure, like, most people can beat all the stages. Because it's so difficult. And they're nerfing in the rewards, that's... Oh, that's a yikes. Okay, special battle event. Hawk's Biggie Book. 
Um, SSR couldn't take it, it's like it's who cares. Okay, cool. We got a. That's the event thing, I guess. Um, it doesn't have gameplay, so. Uh, it doesn't have pictures of how you play, so. Uh, Alright, these daily thingies, of course, they, they always bring these. It's nice, especially because you get the uh, the uh, enhanced thing for uh, costume. That's probably the best thing from, from that. Um, oh yeah, so from this, you do get uh, a free multi on the banner, which is nice. Log in three times, whatever. You get the, the free multi on the banner. Ooh, salvage super success, that's nice. Event duration. Daily missions diamond reward increase. Okay, so probably double diamonds for the rewards. That's nice. Equipment gacha is our rate up. I have no gold. No, but I have no gold. Unlucky. Hmm. Diamond bonus event. Oh, okay. I guess these are cheaper. Yeah. Uh, all right. 10 gems for, this is like 1 euro. Okay. But what about the uh, the tickets? Oh, it's 100, you get, uh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Right, I'll probably have to buy them anyways. That's not bad. Anyway. So, what do you guys do? Lilia is very interesting paired up with King. So, applies corrosion debuff to enemies with 3 or less ultimate move gauge for 2 turns. Reduces attack of enemies with 5 or more ultimate gauge move by 10% uh, for 2 turns. Activates when entering battle or to deathmatch. Which means, in PvP, so long as you're facing someone that isn't using uh, old food, green merlin, and isn't going second, uh, you will always apply corrosion to them. Which is really good, because you've, of course, spread up in the cave, that's very nice. If it's for 100 single enemy, heals HP of us 40%, that's really nice. It looks damage boost 250 to all enemies, the your ultimate gauge, just like Bolivia. Cancel buffs, very nice. Mono. Mono is made for this uh, super boss Ascanor. You can clearly see that because of his her passive increase the uh, hero's damage by 30% per ultimate move on the enemy, excluding PvP, which means Ascanor is probably gonna have a lot of ultimate uh, gauge. Which means then the, the uh, blue Valencia will also be good against him. Cancel buffs and stances, you probably have buffs then. Um, inflicts damage to 180, prevents ultimate gauge. Um, inflicts, this is the bleed effect. Now, uh, these costumes, they don't show pictures or anything. Isn't this the costume Global got for free? I think so, and they're selling for, uh, they're selling on JP. I, I think this is the costume Global got for free, isn't it? It looks like it. But these are like, I guess, RPG costume sets. I'm not really interested in that. These are Lilia sets. The Lilia sets interest me. Look at this one. And this one's cool girl. The, the, the Lilia sets heavily interest. I'm not gonna lie. Um, festival pack. Oh, it's one of these select ones. Uh, 30 gems. Oh, it costs 30 yen. Or, I'm oh, sorry. Uh, 30 euros. You can buy 10. Oh. Oh, this is back. I remember when the you can you can get 600 anvils and 30 gems for 30 euros. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting that for sure. <laughs> I'm getting a bunch of these or engravement. That's also good. I'm, you can choose one, but you can choose like three of the same, right? I'm probably gonna get some uh, some anvils with 600 anvils plus 30 gems. You, you can buy 10 times. All right. Final boss, or super boss, Ascanor. He looks sick. He looks incredible. And um, there's no limit, of course. Uh, final boss will last for two weeks, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, two weeks. A shop. All right, so rewards, SSR, Raven Stone, Hammer. Uh, they, they, they never change these. They should, they should bump these. Uh, Community uh, score. Ooh. SSR, la, Super Awakening Coin, the SS, an SSR Ascanor weapon. So you get an SSR Ascanor weapon and a UR Ascanor weapon. Because you also get from the, yeah, the cosmetic. You're getting a UR weapon and an SSR weapon. That's pretty cool. I wonder how the SSR weapon looks. Uh, of course, the costume, the Graveman Stomp. Max of, they should bump these. Stop doing that. <laughs> Max of 5. 
Uh, hammers, max of 10, again, this should be always 10. Um, so yeah, Ascanor. I hope I hope it's really good. The, the the boss fight, I hope it's really good. I like Bon. Bon really sucked. They went with, oh, let's make Bon super annoying. And it wasn't fun. So this is, of course, the weapon. Oh, it looks so sick. It looks like Goku Black's, um... Goku Black's weapon, but of course, uh, orange. Or gold. It looks orange-ish on my screen, but it's probably gold, right? Uh, it's probably meant to be gold. It looks so sick. We were all wondering how Askoner would look like. And I'm not I, I cannot say I'm disappointed. He looks incredible. There was another image, wait, that uh, database sent me. It's this one. We can have, a, I guess, a better look as a PNG. Ah! Oh. Uh, yeah, 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 you don't get much of a better look, but... Looks incredible. Um... Anyways, I think this is it. Final boss, shop, yeah. Uh, oh, okay. System changes. Additional, addition to SSR, mono in the coin shop, yeah, 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 you can get your best one. Ella Tire, the committee from Tower of Catastrophe. Okay. Um, event. So now you can actually check what Super Awakening does. This is, this is really good. Because before, you would have to like Super Awakening you know, to see what the Super Awakening would do. Because if you are unaware, if you're playing Global, Super Awakening is different for each character. Each character gets a different thing. Meaning, some Super Awakenings are so much better than others. For example, the Super Awakening for Zeldris gives him crit chance, Which is so much better than the Super Awakening for Hauser, which gives him crit chance. Hauser should have got Pierce Rate on his Super Awakening. That would make him so much better. But instead, his Super Awakening sucks, while Zarja's Super Awakening is really good. That's an example. Um, so it's good at having a look at what each Super Awakening does before we Super Awaken that character. Wavering Shop? Wavering Shop? Okay. Um, new Legend Princess Elizabeth Skill 1 buff. Huh. Oh, this is... Red Elizabeth? They're buffing her? This is such a forgotten unit. Damn. It, it's this one, yeah. This is the New Year's Elizabeth. They're buffing her card. Does that mean a character with this card will release in the near future? You flick 130. Yeah, this... This Elizabeth really sucked because this card... Is just like Lilia's, right? Where you do damage and you heal the allies. But her card would do damage and only heal the ally of the least HP. So they're still keeping that for the first one, but now it's 80% instead of 30. That's a big deal. And now with the other ones, it's heal all allies. That's a massive difference. It was it should be <laughs> only one ally heal. It was it sucked. That's a big difference, huh? Uh, fortune telling event goal or something. Oh, nice. Okay. Regardless, that's a nice content drop. I don't like. I think the. Wait, I didn't see this. Fix an issue where this could not heal Elizabeth. Okay. Uh, but I don't like what they did with Tower of Trial or Tower of Challenge or whatever. That really sucked. Th these rewards. They changing the 45 gems for SSR Awaken Selection Ticket? That sucks. Other than that, the whole, the, the whole patch is good. I uh, hope the JP uh, players complain about this so they change it because this sucks. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. That's it.